Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for mid-March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs, or you can book a personal reading with me, and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Alright Aries, let's see what's going on with you in love. For the second part of March, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And do remember that the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right, Aries. Let's see. For the situation, we have the Knight of Swords crossed by the Four of Swords. Okay. Um, wow. There's a lot of feistiness. A lot of energy. Um... Possibly not really knowing where you or they are going, not knowing where this is going. Um, there's this just restlessness. And I feel like the goal here is you're trying to find peace. But that is what seems to be um, difficult. Either trying to recover from something, from a particular situation or from a connection. Or just something to be resolved in this, in this connection. But... But there's just so much restlessness. Let's see. For you, we have the Two of Pentacles, the World, and the King of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, it's feeling a little bit rocky at the moment. It might feel overwhelming, like there's just so much going on right now. Um, it's like you're trying to put an end to all of this. You're trying to somehow bring about a balance, find healing, find peace, close something out, and really ground yourself. And I do see you moving in that direction. There is something here that you are closing out. There is some kind of a cycle that's ending, or you're just like closing a chapter. It's just that it's a little bit um, overwhelming at the moment. Let's see for them. We have the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so this is Virgo energy um, showing up on their side. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Could have strong Virgo in their charts. Um, wow, this person, I they might be giving mixed signals here um, because it feels like you know this person is either trying to communicate or is communicating maybe in a bit of an immature way because it feels like on the one hand this person is giving the giving out the message that they want things to be calm as well just like you do they want things to be resolved and happy possibly for some of them wanting a reconciliation and you know it seems that way right on the one hand but then but then they go quiet or they just um, keep to themselves, possibly not being so expressive. Let's see the potential outcome or message for you here. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, it just feels like there's something that you're either not agreeing on or not being able to see like from the same side. Um, but let's see. I feel like it's just a matter of time. Um, before this blindfold is removed and you can both see things from the other side. All right, let's clarify this Knight of Knight of Swords with the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, the, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right, okay, so lots of fire here, um, right up in your element. So some of you might even be dealing with a, with a, um, with an air sign or even another fire sign here. Again, I mean, having the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, it definitely feels like there's a lot of restlessness, possibly a lot of... Um, I'm even getting triggers. There's triggers here that are painful. It feels like... There are either impulsive words that are spoken or there are events that are happening that are just 
really creating some triggers, creating some restlessness, creating some frustration, aggravation between the two of you. And it feels like, you know, the more that this happens, like the, the more pain that there is. I'm also getting that this is actually happening for a reason. Um, but this is something that is going to help you to find yourself, to feel empowered at the end of it. I haven't exactly understood it just yet, how that's going to happen, but but that's what, what the cards are showing me here. All right, so let's see the two of pentacles in your energy. We have the queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely finding your groundedness through all of this. Yes, it's very difficult to balance. It's overwhelming. Um, it, it's almost coming in as you really wanting to hold on to something, but that something that you're trying to hold on to might be in conflict with um, what is good for you. And I'm not necessarily referring to it being this connection or this other person. It could be um, holding on to a particular point of view or holding on to a particular way of communicating or really holding on to, I don't know, something, some specific element within the connection. Whatever that is, and it's going to be different for all of you, it's difficult for you to hold on to that, but to also be nurturing and healing yourself at the same time. And that's part of what is making this so difficult. All right, let's see the world. The High Priestess and Strength. Yeah, you know, you're you're still moving forward though. You're still moving forward. There is something here that you are ending in terms of a cycle that may have been repeating itself. And you're doing this because it's like your intuition is really pushing you in that way. And you know, you're you're listening to it. And if you're not, if you're doubting it, well, you know, then take this as a message for you. Listen to your intuition. This is where you are meant to go because it's making you stronger. And it does take strength to close this out, whatever this is, whatever it is that you're um, ending here. But it's like by using that strength, that's what's actually then making you stronger. And that strength that you are going to use now, which is so difficult to find, mm -hmm. then it's like that strength will stay with you. And the next time you need it, it's not going to be difficult to use it. So that's why this is so important, what's happening right now. It, it's, it's so important because you are gaining so much strength by actually having to find that strength. And then it's like, it's just going to stick with you. So for something in the future, it's going to feel a, a lot easier. It's like, this is like a strength that you need. It's almost, it feels like a training. All right, let's see the King of Pentacles. <laughs> the King of Pentacles again, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're, you know what, it's like trusting your intuition, even though you might be, you might be doubting it and there might be some back and forth with your intuition. Um, it can be a little confusing because Again, it might, it might be something that requires so much strength that it's like difficult for you to see how that can possibly be good for you or how that can actually lead to anything good. So it's like you're not able to see where this is leading you to and it's leading you to something very, very stable. Not only within yourself, but getting the King of Pentacles twice, I do feel like this is either the other person here that you're dealing with or somebody else that will be able to come in. And provide you with something very solid and very mature. Um, you just can't see it yet. So let's see for the other person here. Let's see this page of swords. 
the King of Cups and the world. Well, this person definitely does have a lot of emotions for you. Um, a lot of love. And again, it, it, I'm just getting like this. It's like this person that might be communicating in some way that world card, which you also have, that some kind of an ending, closing something out. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be the ending of your connection. It could be, but I'm not really getting that. Anyway, some communicating some kind of an ending, even though there is a lot of love. Hmm. Let's see the, the other two. And this might clear up. It could even be that this person is communicating in a way where they're not showing you these emotions. That's what they're ending. It's like this person is just communicating but without without the emotions. Possibly if, if it's either too painful for them or something. Let's see. So three of cups, we have the three of cups again and the three of wands. All right, three, 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 if that means anything to anybody. It's like this person is like talking about, um, it could even be that they're talking about a friendship, another friendship or a friendship with you, or possibly things, you know, that things are going to be smooth, things are going to be light, things are going to be happy, but like in the future. And right now they're holding back. Um, Let me see the hermit. The Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. All right, so we also have Taurus. Yeah, definitely feel feeling a lot of Earth energy in this in this reading overall. So you definitely could be dealing with an Earth sign as well. Um, could be any sign, of course. But these are the ones that are standing out the most to me. Um, Okay, so for whatever reason, this person is keeping to themselves, right? It's like they're talking about this happiness. They're talking about either a friendship or a reconciliation or that, you know, things are, you know, going to be better or they're giving off that vibe in some way or another. But I feel like then they're actually showing quite the opposite. So it's like a lot of mixed signals here, which I feel is what is also triggering you. Um, while they're in this hermit mode though, they're doing a lot of work here. They're doing a lot of work, um, it's like very deep, very deep. I feel like there is something here that they're learning. They are really inspecting certain aspects, either of their core beliefs or in terms of commitment and in terms of this connection. Um, but it feels like it's taking a little bit of time because with that two of swords here, and I feel like that's how it's meant to play out for right now because this time is actually needed. Let's see, two of swords. Yeah, the Empress and the seven of wands. You're being asked to really stand in your power and to really stand your ground here. I feel like, you know, if there's a decision that either of you are trying to make or maybe mutually, um, there's no need to rush it at the moment. There's no need to rush any kind of decision or any kind of resolution. Just, you know, working on finding your own stability here and following your intuition and trusting that that is what is opening up the path to have something very, very stable rather than this unstable Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands, which is very like um, irritable and, and fluctuating and just all over the place, restlessness. 
right? Rather than having that, you're having you're getting quite the opposite here. It's just about trusting this path and ending some kind of a cycle. You don't need to focus on what the end result is going to be, is what I'm getting here, all right? You doing this, it's moving you towards this Empress energy. And at the same time, they're also healing something very, very deep, something that's very, very deeply rooted within them. So stand your ground here um, and keep moving in that direction. I mean, this is really, I feel like it's like a big lesson, <laughs> all of this. It's like just, just a challenge that you're meant to learn from. All right, so if this resonated, the final card for you here is strength. Yeah, <laughs> makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Um, this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. I feel like that is so closely related to what I was saying earlier. So Aries, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.